Hey there neighbor, welcome back. Glad you're here today because we have a lot of things to do. Alright, we have around 120 clips to put on these T-posts, right? We have 30 T-posts and I like to put 4 clips per T-post. It's only a 4 foot high fence but it's goats, so we gotta make sure it's secure. Good thing is, we have a clip bender. This little nifty tool, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, you can find it at Tractor Supply. Uh, I'll buy it online, it's just easier to order offline so you'll find it in the description. And it makes the world of a difference in saving you time and also making things just simply easier. So, you get a clip ready and get to work. Here you go neighbor. Alright neighbor, so check it out. You're gonna grab your clip, you can go around the back of the T-post, you can put one ear of the clip on this side, the other ear on this side. Now let me show you how simple, easy, and convenient this little tool is, alright? Once you got this ear down, all you're gonna do is poke it through. I'm gonna go fold it under. Line. I'm gonna go to that. And line. I like to give it one more above it and bring it down over. Alright, and then on this side, Hi, it has an actual little hole right here. Hi guys, an actual little hole right here that is going to be put on this side of the ear. You put it in there, you pull it over, voila, there it is. Like I said, just for, to be a little more secure, I like to grab my needle nose pliers and put it on this side, pull it down one time. And fold it back for the safety of the goats. It does take a little bit more extra time. Oh, apparently a lot of extra time. There it is. There it is. I just like to bend it back just for security goats because they do get up here and they try to go up against the fence and scratch your backs and stuff. And hi guys. I want to make sure. <laughs> I want to make sure Daddy, they don't. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Another little tip and little little trick I like to do is I like to put the fence on the front side of the t-post that way any animal goat sheep whatever that you have in your corral will push up against the actual t-post if you put it on the back side the only thing holding it would actually be your clips to hear the actual t-post is holding your fence so there you go guys simple little tool time saver now let's see it in action On the very bottom one, it always gives you a little bit of trouble. Dad, Push on it with your boot. Why do you drop this one? There we it go. Was an accident. Ready? Okay. You gotta bend it a little bit sideways. Once you got it sideways, poke through it. Voila! But that's the trick. You gotta go sideways when you're at the bottom. And then we got this side, like before, and we have a flat one. Oh, there it is. Got it. So what you learned so far, neighbor? I'll tell you what I learned so far. I just learned that this is a must when it comes to putting clips on these two T-posts. But I also learned to keep my thumb, if you can see how I pinched it, out of this little area right here. I'll try to show you. See where it bends right there? yeah keep your finger away from there it hurts and uh one more thing that i also learned is let me show you real quick how it was easier to put pressure on the fence and quicker to clip the clips onto the t-post and the fence so here's a little example video of what i was talking about the clip 
make sure you open it up just a tad bit and then your long ear and your short ear so that's what i mean have your left knee down have your right knee up ready to push onto to the fence you loop it put it down you look for your tool that always gets lost ah, i got it in the pocket you push up against the fence and it gives you and it's easier to come around so i learned that all right like i said learn as you go neighbor good little tip one more open it up come around to this side put it down push on it put your clip bender down on the back around and there it is and i'll give you another shot of the bottom one even though that's the hardest and most annoying one and thing on this one you probably have to use your boots it is see how you can barely barely get to that ear right there see all right here we go Oh, you got a stick? Yeah. You got something? Papi, are you looking for it? I was actually looking for a stick to uh, put right here by the camera and he brought a bar. Close enough, Santi. Thank you though. Let's take it back. Yeah. All right, so that's a little tip. That's a little trick. I found Not too bad. We're done with that one. Moving on to the next I one. All right, just for fun, let's try one with the pliers. See what of a difference it would be. I've never really done it, so we'll see how that goes. Imagine you go here. You definitely wouldn't need needle nose for this. Well, exactly why I have that little tool. And it's a lot harder than I thought. Really, the only way to do it is if you, there we go, do it from the other side. You really got to pry on it. Get your hand through the other side. I guess maybe with some practice, I may get, would get the hang of it. But it's still very time consuming to be flipping things around. Not to mention, there we go, got it. And like that. And then this side, I would imagine you could just go like, Well, you gotta tell it, please. There it is, so there we go. It wasn't too bad. Still prefer my, prefer my tool than this, that's for sure. Let's go back to this tool and stuff. Gotta take a little break, neighbor. We've been at it all day. Ah, uh, just a few hours. It didn't take that long. But we're doing the job. We've been working hard, right, Santi? Yeah. We've been working hard. Yeah, but go the fire and the hour. Mm -hmm. So, since it's pretty much at the end of the day. Yeah, but actually, my friends are crazy. <laughs> so, we're, we're about to get done with this job. And just like yeah. every other it's job, guys, day. it is story time. Yeah story time yeah all right neighbors i want to share a little story with you today about last year and then i'm gonna see and then i'm gonna show jingle bell the scala <laughs> you're gonna have to bear with me neighbor so the story about last year is that last year i was very very goal oriented 
and good thing and bad thing because I was so goal oriented that I lost track of you could say the value of my goals of why I was actually doing things and the real reason I'm doing things is because and then I love my family yeah right? because my family is funny uh-huh and I'm proud of a nice home and making it level for my boy and my little girl and my wife so I work hard to try to get all that done and, however and my boys are really crazy but they don't know <laughs> and since I also go oriented and I lost track of you know how and fast I was moving friend. along trying to get things done I started pushing my son away I know yeah. that's bad I know, but I love Bobby, you, right, Santi? Bobby, Wait. this is my family. That, he's your friend? Yeah. And she's your friend? Yeah. I can see. You are my friend. We're friends, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm sorry about last year, mijo. Yeah. Last year, I got so tied up in trying to finish everything yeah. that since you couldn't really help me, I started pushing you away, and I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay? I love you. Yeah. I love you, okay? Yeah. Yeah. We're friends. And we're friends. And yeah. this year, no matter how much I have to get something done. Yeah, but uh, Bobby has so many happening done. Uh-huh. Yeah. If I need to pause what I'm doing, I will so I can attend my son. Okay, mijo? Yeah. We're going to have to work together yeah. so I can get things done and I can still play with yeah, you, okay? Yeah, there's the mess up on white <laughs> There's a mess up down there. Yeah, but I can see it. You can see it? Yeah. So there you go, neighbors. I know that took a little bit longer than yeah, expected. Yeah, this is a little long day. <laughs> it's a long day. Yeah. It's a long day and we're ready to go home and call it a day, right, Cassie? Yeah. It's time to go inside and sit on the couch and rest. Right, Cassie? Yeah. We need to take a long break. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah, there you go, neighbors. I hope you enjoyed the little story that I shared with you. I hope it brought some value to you. Like I said, the more of the story is, no matter how much you have to finish something, take the time to take care of your family. All right? Yeah, but why no bye? <laughs> and yeah, we're about to call it bye. So yeah, yeah take the yeah, time. We need to work right now. Yeah, take the time to slow down and attend to the needs of your kids, your wife, yourself for that matter. Sometimes we lose track. Mm -hmm. I know we like to work and really this is hard. My friend. But we have to slow down. We have to slow down and find time for ourselves and for our family. And All right, guys. Boy, this, this and the and <laughs> so there it is, neighbors. Thank you for coming by. I enjoyed your company. I hope you got some value out of this time we spent together of the story I shared with you. And make sure while I start picking up these tools, mm -hmm. you subscribe to the channel so you can come back tomorrow mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we can keep on at it, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Let's go pick up all the tools. Yeah. Time to go home. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, but